What's up, everybody? This is your boy, the Trigger Collector, man. Coming to you guys another figure review. Um, thank you guys, man, for the likes, the comments, the new subscribers that I gained um, through the um, Bardock uh, series that we covered a couple weeks ago, man. Um, really, really do appreciate that, man. Um, all the positive feed, feedback, man. All of the inquiries, inquiries, should I say, about where you can obtain those awesome figures, man. I'm glad I was able to help help you guys, point you guys in the right direction. But like I said, man, we got nothing but heat coming. And this is exactly what we got today. This is by far my favorite figure out of this particular Kooji lot, man. This is an awesome, awesome piece. So without keeping you guys in more suspense, man, let's go ahead and take a look at this last prize. Super Saiyan 4 Limit Break Broly. Um, this is from the Super Dragon Ball Heroes third mission Kooji that came out about two weeks ago, three weeks ago now. Um, so as you guys can see right there, that's the Super Dragon Ball's logo, Super Dragon Ball Heroes lo logo, Ichiban Kooji logo right there. And as you guys know, that last prize figures do not come with a toy sticker. Not sure why they don't, but they just don't. Um, here's some more awesome box art with a Super Dragon Ball Heroes advertisement there. The more awesome artwork on the back and then Broly himself so here we are right here guys this awesome beast of a figure man sorry awesome beast of a figure dude this figure is a monster and I don't mean that because Broly calls himself a monster I'm talking about this thing commands attention in any space that that you put him in I mean the color alone on this figure will grab your attention um it's this the paint the paint uh choice that the manufacturer or the creators or designers of these figures came up with man captures the super dragon ball heroes uh anime 2at if you guys are not familiar with the limit break transformation the limit break transformation is not really a transformation it's more so a uh, like a boost in power, kind of like a Zenkai uh, for Super Saiyan 4. And, um, you know, Super Saiyan 4 typically have like the black hair with the deep red fur color with the, you know, with the tail and all of that. This is when they reach, um, you know, somewhat on the same level as a Super, as a Blue Evolution that Vegeta has, you know, during the turn, turn of power. It's not really a transformation, it's just more of a boost in power, right? And that boost in power um, for you to differentiate that they got a boost in power is that they change the color of their skin, uh, not the skin, their fur and their hair. Um, so the hair, as you guys can see right here, instead of black, it's like a dark maroon and the fur has a metallic sheen to it. And in the anime, um, it's really not like a metallic sheen. It's more like a Super Saiyan God aura color, you know, kind of like it just kind of gives like a different aura effect. But I like the way that they distinguish the uh, paint schematics, the actual paint scheme from this particular transformation onto these carry onto these figures, man. And they did not miss with this. This is the one of the most highly detailed Broly figures, man, that I have. And I have the, as you guys can see right there, I have the last prize back to the films Broly, man. And I thought that one was highly detailed. But this one here, to me, far as paint wise, in my opinion, blows that one out of the water. I love the dynamic pose, man. We don't have that standard standing museum pose that we used to get with so many Brolies, man. Um, this Broly here, I think is when he was, um, I think when he went up against Cumber or against Gogeta, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, it was, it, it was one of those, man. And I want to say it was when he was fighting Cumber. So, um, you know, this is, this is a really, really awesome piece, man. Um, I have another figure here from the, not the same Kooji, but from the Super Dragon Ball Heroes Kooji that came out in 2020 as a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, this is the Super Saiyan 4 Dark Broly. Um, this Broly was when, you know, Broly was turned by the Dark Dragon Balls. Um, this is an awesome piece as well, man. Um, still one of my favorite Broly's last prize figures that I have. Um, but as you guys can see, this one is kind of lackluster compared to this bad boy right here. Um, this one here, you can tell the amount of detail on this one compared to like the kind of flat look, which I can understand that that's the way that that character looked at the time uh, for that Super Dragon Ball Heroes arc. But just look at 
something as simple as a comparison as like the jewels in Dark Brody's uh, ankle gauntlets, right? His shin guards versus the detail in this bad boy right here. You know what I'm saying? Like you can really tell simple, subtle differences with these characters, but you can tell which one, in my opinion, has the higher uh, quality in paint and detail. Now, sculpt wise, this one here to me beats this one out in sculpt uh, simply because of like the frayed skirt and all of that. And, um, you know, the, the little battle damage that he has on his chest and all of that. But as far as just all around um, size wise and, you know, just difference of a standard museum standing pose, this one here wins it, man. This one here wins it. Um, this one here comes price wise. This is a little bit more expensive than this bad boy is right here, but I'll get into details on why. But this one here was just solely bought out to you guys to show another King cluster size comparison to this bad boy right here. Um, so price wise, guys, um, this figure right here, man, I've seen it on um, eBay go for about 150 to 180 bucks. Um, unfortunately, you know, Broly really doesn't. Um, he's really not too expensive when he's a last prize because he's starting to get like Gogeta and Vegito. You know, we have an oversaturation of him. Um, but because he is an, an LP, um, you know, that's where he gets that like $106 to $180 mark at. Um, it's because of what he is, you know. Um, I, I believe that after a while, he probably will go up in price like the Back to the Films Broly or the 20th film last prize Broly um, or even the, the dark Broly here you know that go they, they go up in price after a while because like I said in the, the day they are last prize figures um, but as of right now he's not as expensive it's like you know Purunga, uh Shinron even Golden Ozaru Goku um, Dragon Ball Z Kai Broly that came out the old Kudu with the base stand he, he's nowhere near that last prize level yet so that's a, that's a pretty good thing um, I got this figure here and the prize A Broly and the Xeno Vegito from my friend, Mr. Nee Fam. He, he's a, I wouldn't call him a friend. He's more like a brother. I've been knowing him for a long, long time. Really awesome dude, man. Um, like I say, always been the same uh, since I started my collecting journey, man. So shout out to you, fam. Appreciate you, man, for helping me attain these awesome figures. Um, so if you guys are interested, man, in, in getting these pieces, man, shoot over to Smash Collecting and um, you know, get with Mr. Nee Fam, Mr. C Tone, Mr. Uh, Ryan uh, Sollers over there, man. Those guys can definitely hook you up with these awesome, awesome pieces. So um, this piece does come in three fit in three pieces. The body is one solid piece, and then the tail is detachable, and then it comes with a um, foot stand. But this figure is so well balanced, you don't even need the foot stand with it, man. Um, so. Um, short and sweet review, man. Um, really awesome piece. Highly, highly recommended. And another thing too, man, is that if you guys don't have the space for this, make space for him. Because in this detox that I have this shelf right here, in this second row, second tier, I can only fit those two bad, bad boys in this one particular shelf. I can't fit anything else in there because these two figures are massive. And then with that, I even had to like maneuver it around just to fit them in there side by side with each other. So that's just a little FYI if you guys are looking for, um, or looking forward to picking this guy up. Um, so, you know, short and sweet review, man. Um, I'm gonna bring it to a close with that. So if you guys are on Instagram, man, head over there and follow me at trill underscore collector 512 to where you can see this figure and all the awesome, other awesome, um, third mission Kuji figures that I have in my collection as of right now. So be on the lookout, man, for the review for the other three figures. Um, if you guys have any questions, man, don't be afraid to put it in the comments. Um, if you're on Instagram, shoot me a DM and I can definitely help you guys out with that. Um, shout out to the guys that have hit, hit me up, um, trying to obtain these awesome pieces, man. And I was so glad I could help you guys uh, grow your collection with that. So with that being said, man, this is the Trill Collector signing off, man. Until next time, keep it trilling and keep collecting. Bye.